Hi, thanks for calling Karma. How can I help you? Yeah, I wanted to see if you guys have a certain car available. Of course, I can help you with that. What make and model are you interested in? And if you have any specific features or color in mind, let me know. It's a 2017 Red Hyundai Tucson. Got it. A 2017 Red Hyundai Tucson. That's a great choice. Let me check our inventory for you. Just a quick question while I do that. Are there any specific fe uh, features you're looking for in the Tucson, like a sunroof or navigation system? No, I just want this one specific car. Hold on a sec. Thanks for your patience. So we do have a red 2017 Hyundai Tucson available. It's in great condition and has some nice features. Before we dive into more details, could I grab your name and a good contact number or email? That way I can send you all the info and help you book an appointment if you're interested. As you just saw, that was a conversation that my Vapi AI assistant had with somebody that called into a dealership to find out if that car was still in their inventory. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Daniel Beltran and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about tools for Vapi. So just to bring it back, like I was saying, we recently just created a Vapi bot that's designed to take inbound calls for a car dealership and we're trying to see if we can have it check the database to see if that car is still in the inventory and they get someone to book an appointment. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. Everything I'm going to show you already has a template inside the boss program. So if you guys want to check that out, click the link in the description. If you guys like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so to begin, we're going to be starting inside of Vapi. So once we have an assistant created, you can see I just made one. Uh, the first message is, hello, you're a sales agent selling gas-powered televisions. If someone's interested, your job is to use the search tool to check if there are TVs available. If they're ready to buy, ask for a card number, expiration date, CVV code, and a billing zip code. So we're going to do two kinds of tools on this one. We're going to do a, a search tool which essentially is gonna be used in the middle of a call to verify something and use that as data or context on our call, right? So in this case, uh, you know, if someone's interested in buying a TV, we're gonna to call to see if any TVs are available, right? In your case, it could be to check, you know, the calendar times, you know, check availability, something like that. So we'll do it together. I haven't created the tool yet, so let's just jump right in. So let's click on tools on the left side. We're gonna click new tool. And we're gonna use make for this example because it's the easiest. So if you guys don't have make.com, just check the description. There's a link to make.com. It's free, you know, you can sign up for free and actually use this. So just, uh, you know, click that link, make an account, create a scenario. And once you're here, we're gonna start with the webhook. We're gonna do custom webhook. Okay, and then we're gonna just add one and name it whatever we're trying to do. So in this case, you know, we'll do search tool. That's it, and then it will, generate a URL. We're going to copy that URL. We're going to go back to Vapi and then we'll just paste that right in there. All right. So once that's pasted, we're going to click next. And then this is where we're basically going to get uh, properties to search for. So for example, in this case, it's going to be if somebody's interested, it's going to search for a television, right? So it's going to be the property name is going to say, uh, it's going to be like search let's just say. And then the next one is going to be describe the property, its purpose and its use. The, this will determine oops, if there are any TVs available for purchase. Save. And that's really all we want to do, but you can put in anything. So for example, if I want to do another one, it would be like, you know, date time. And it could be like this is the requested date and time for the person who wants to book an appointment. And then you could put that in probably as either a string or a number. I would test either one because you might have, uh, you know, some errors doing that, but who knows. But for, in our case, we're going to leave it search. This is, will determine if there are any TVs available for purchase. Okay, I'm just reading this back. I want to rewrite it a little bit. I'm going to put this will determine someone is interested in buying a TV. That's probably a little bit better because this is basically what Vapi is going to generate as data to send through the webhook. So I want, if someone's interested, I want to know. If someone's interested, it's going to trigger the webhook and do something. So we'll add that in there. I'm also going to add a name. So this is the name of the customer and that's it. So from there I have the name it's going to search for the name of the customer and it's going to search to determine if they're 
interested in buying a TV, so click next. This is gonna be the name of the tool. We're gonna to just name it search tool. This tool. So there we go. This tool is used to determine if someone is interested in buying a TV, and if they are, it will let us know with a yes or no output. It will also generate the name of the interested customer. So that's what it's gonna do. We'll click create. There it is. And now we just have to make sure that it's added to our assistant. So let's go back to our assistant right here. And then we're gonna click on functions and then tools. Just make sure that's enabled and then publish. All right, and then we still have to do one more thing because if we go to advanced, you can scroll down right here and see there's actually a server URL. So that make URL that we copied earlier, we're gonna put it in right here because this is where VAPI is going to send that data from the tool, right? So we want that data from the tool to go into make so that we can do something with that data. So make sure that's in there. And then if we scroll down a little bit, um, if we have a lot of these checked on, it's gonna send like a ton of uh, inquiries to make. And we only wanna send inquiries if it's uh, a tool or if it's the end of the call report. You know, if there's a conversation update, I don't want it to just send me, you know, information on that. So function, end of call report, and then we'll also do tool calls. And we'll leave those three on. Uh, same thing with the server. Oh, excuse me, same thing with the client messages. So turn everything off. We're gonna do function call and result. We're gonna do trans, excuse me, tool calls and tool calls result. And that's it, just those four, and then we'll save that. So now really quick, I'm gonna go back and just say if, make sure to ask someone if they're interested in a TV. And if they are, use the search tool. Get their name and use the search tool. All right, let's just test it, who knows? It, it, may, it may create an error right here, but that's part of the game. That's part of using VAPI. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna make sure it's running so that it's listening to the conversation. And I'm just going to talk to it and see what happens. Hello. Hello? Are you interested in buying a gas-powered television? If so, may I have your name, please? Yes, I am. My name is Daniel. Hold on a sec. I'm sorry, Daniel, but it seems that we don't have any gas-powered televisions available at the moment. Thank you for your interest, and please let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. All right, I'll hang up on it right there. So if we go back, you can see it's green. And there is information in this analysis right here. So let's open it up and see what we got. So right here, it passed through my name and then it passed through gas, gas powered television. So we have exactly what it's cert or what they're looking for, looking to buy. And then also my name. And then we can do whatever we want with that information, right? Cause we're using make, like if somebody's interested, we could, you know, have it go back to high level and update a contact hey let's update this contact and tag it with interested right and now we have a list of people that vapi's spoken to and they're interested in buying right so you can basically connect it to any action that's the cool part the hard part for you guys is just setting this part up but hopefully that was a lot easier there's still one more thing i want to go over with you guys because there's the end of the call report which honestly is arguably like a little bit more important for some of you guys because you want that reporting so if you guys click on analysis uh, just go ahead and pause the video if you want to read it but basically for the summary you're an expert note taker you'll be given a call transcript summarize the call so we fully understand and then this success evaluation rather than going through each call every single time reading through a summary what you can do is just tell it exactly what is a successful call and then a success evaluation rubric. Basically, it's gonna give you a result. So I'm putting it on pass or fail, meaning, hey, was this you know, an interested uh, lead? Yes or no. Did somebody book an appointment? Yes or no. Did somebody buy? Yes or no. And then you can use pass fail. You could also do a grade. You know, Measure the success of this call, uh, one through 10, and then just give it parameters to grade that. And then it will give you a one out of 10, right? So there's a bunch of different outputs you can have. In my case, I just want a yes or no. So you can see pass fail, a simple true if it passed or false if not. And then structured data. So this is what you guys really want right here. So you'll be given a transcript from a sales call. Your job is to extract the payment details from the customer for processing. You'll need a number, expiration date, CVV code, and a billing zip code. Don't worry guys, in this video we're not gonna use a real card, but I'm still gonna demonstrate that on the end of the, uh, end of the call report. So I'm gonna see if I can bypass the search 
and just you know blurt out all this information and then see if I get that in the end of the call report. So I'm gonna to try to say that I'm not interested, but still give this data to see if I can get this end of the call report. So there we go, let's go ahead and try it together. So I'm gonna just click run once to make sure it's listening to me, wait for new data. Again, I'm gonna bypass the search tool and just blurt out like all this information, right? So here we go. Hello. Hello, my name's Daniel. Uh, my credit card number is 121212. Hold on a sec. My billing zip code is 0729. Uh, excuse me, my Just expiration date is 0729. My billing zip code is 12345 and my CVV is 012. Just a sec. It looks like there are currently no gas power televisions available. If you have any other questions or if there's something else I can assist you with, please let me know. Yeah, did you get my expiration date? I'm sorry, but it looks like there are currently no gas powered televisions available. If you have any other questions or if there's something else I can assist you with, please let me know. Okay, that's totally fine. Thank you so much. Have a amazing day and here we go. So as you can see, it actually ran the tool, but I ran it again before the call ended because I want it to send me the end of the call report. So now that the call has ended, it's going to send another webhook basically with a transcript and a summary of the end of the call report. So you can see right there, um, hey, this guy did provide all of his information. The AI repeatedly asked the caller to wait and did not appear to record or acknowledge this, the sensitive financial details. Instead, the AI, yeah, you can see that, yeah, you get it. So I'm gonna see if it actually took my information though. So right here you can see there actually is the information right there. Um, it got the 0927, right? But it also has the entire transcript. So, you know, once you have this data, you could actually send it through to, you know, ChatGPT and just be like, hey, analyze the transcript and get me this information, you know? There's multiple ways to extract data. I, I like to just do it directly from VAPI. Some people like to just, you know, have the transcription go through ChatGPT. Either one is totally up to you. So now you pretty much know how to trigger the tools, right? So the end of the call report, that's pretty self-explanatory. It just automatically sends all that data once the call is over. But for the tool, the guy keeps saying there's no gas powered whatever is available, right? So it's sending a request to webhook, but we still have to give it a response. So as you can see, creates a response to the webhook. So you can have a bunch of stuff in between. Um, like for example, if you wanna like transcribe what they're saying, for example, like uh, this dealership one that I'm talking to you guys about, right? Uh, it would go through another module. Let's just say it's a sheet. So we have all of our data in a sheet, let's just say, and then it's gonna search a row. And then you, whatever, you could search your, uh, your sheet, just make sure like, okay, I wanna search this sheet. I wanna search, you know, this tab. And then you can take data from the webhook. So basically, you know, check the A row which is my full name row, and then data from here. So for example, I think I did have my name in the analysis. Yeah, so in this one, actually, I just yeah, I just blurted out all my information. I didn't give it my name, but as you saw in the first one, it did have my name. So you'd basically find the name and just put it in here. And if you know the name is equal to a specific row, it can pull that data. And then the output from the sheet is just gonna be like, yes it's there so for example i'm just going to remove this for the example right but the response will just say yes every time i'm not sure if that's going to just automatically tell vapi that like that there are you know tvs available but hey there's only one way to test hello hello i'm interested in buying a tv my name's daniel hold on a sec it looks like there are no gas powered tvs available at the moment i'm sorry about that if you're looking for a regular TV, I can help you find one. Okay, so as you can see, it did give the response, but the response is not what Vappy wanted. What if I put there are TV available? All right, we'll run it once, and then, I don't know, we'll, we'll see if that's different. Hello. Hello, my name is Daniel, and I'm interested in buying a TV. One moment. I'm sorry, Daniel, but it looks like we don't have any gas-powered TVs available at the moment. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Hold on one sec. Let me see if I can give it the data from here. Because look, I'm going to go to tool call list, function, arguments, and then the search is TV. 
So whatever give me a moment. Me, I'm just going to give it back. So hold on. Can you check one more time if there's any TVs available for me? My name's Daniel. This will just take a sec. I'm sorry, Daniel, but it looks like we don't have any gas-powered TVs available at the moment. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Okay, perfect. So we finally got the response that we needed. Um, now, again, this is going to be in the free program, excuse me, in the boss. Okay, so it looks like I, I, I got it to work. I'm just going to paste in this formula really quick so we can get the result back into VAPI with the right uh, format. So let me take this data, just delete that. I'm going to put this in here. And by the way, you guys can actually get this code in the boss program. So check it out. It's actually a free program. And then if you guys want the templates, well, you can get them in there as well. So yeah, once you have the code in there, which you can get from the program, uh, just go ahead and click right here, tool call ID. And in between these quotes, you're gonna put the tool call ID right there. And then we have the result, gas TVs, yes, available. So yeah, I can go ahead and copy that, click okay. And now when we call the webhook, it's going to respond with yes, these TVs are available. So hold on, so I need to run it once. We're gonna run, wait for new data. And then we're gonna talk to a moment of truth right here. Hello. Hello, my name is Daniel and I want to buy a TV. Just a sec. Great news, Daniel. We have gas-powered TVs available. Did you have a specific model in mind or are you open to options? Um, anything is fine. I'm ready to buy. Great. Great. To complete your purchase, I'll need your card number, expiration date, CVV code, and billing zip code. Okay. My card number, when I you're ready? Give me a moment. I'm sorry, I couldn't find that information. Please provide your card number, expiration date, CVV code, and billing zip code. Okay, I'll start with my card number. It's 1243. Thank you. Can you also provide the expiration date, CVV code, and billing zip code? The expiration date is 08. Great. And the CVV code and billing zip code? The CVV is 012, and the billing zip code is 89. Thank you for providing the information. I will now process your payment. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You're welcome. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day. So I'm going to hang up and see if we get the end of the call report and just see what happens here. That was a little bit of a longer call, so it might take a little bit of processing time here. Here we go. So there we go. You can see we have the transcript of the call. We have all the information here, which can be passed through to, you know, like a chat GPT to you know, extract that data further, whatever you don't have. So that's really it. And that's really, and that's really it guys. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. If you have a question, drop a comment below. I have a really small community so I usually get back to everybody. And if you want that free AI training and if you wanna learn how to make money with me in AI and you don't wanna miss out, click the links in the description. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys when I see you guys.